There. I hope you didn't see that. Are you wondering about schizophrenia? I know I am. Take it away, Blake. There you go. Schizophrenia is a psychiatric. Psychotic. Schizophrenia is a psychotic disorder that includes a combination of delusions, hallucinations. But who doesn't have those? It also includes disturbances in speech, emotion, and behavior. There you go. Symptoms are classified as positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and disorganized symptoms. Positive symptoms include delusions which are mistaken beliefs about reality and hallucinations or sensory experiences with no input from the environment. The symptoms are deficits in normal behavior such as a lack of emotion, speech, pleasure, or nonverbal communication. Disorganized symptoms do not fit into the other categories. They include illogical speaking patterns, inappropriate effects, and motor dysfunction ranging from extreme agitation to catatonia. Now I know you're thinking all of this sounds pretty scary, but surely scientists know all about this disease state, right? Right? Wrong. Over the last hundred years, scientists just haven't been able to agree on what the causes on what causes schizophrenia. Yeah. Got a really pretty dog. Thank you. Hey puppy. Bye, puppy. Yep. Today, three main hypotheses lead to the packing causes of schizophrenia. The first looks at hereditary links. Studies have shown 83% of people with schizophrenia have a family member with the disease. Yep. Today, three main hypotheses lead to the packing causes of schizophrenia. The first looks at hereditary links. Studies have shown 83% of people with schizophrenia have a family member with the disease. So if you're like me and have two schizophrenic parents, your future isn't looking bright. Two genes coding for dysbended and neurogenin, one, have been impacted in causing schizophrenia. Although scientists have found modifications to these genes in people with schizophrenia, they still don't know exactly what the genes do. Yep. Yep. Lastly is the most well-known hypothesis. This involves abnormal levels of dopamine. When scientists began pumping people full of dopamine receptors blocking drugs to help with schizophrenia, symptoms of schizophrenia, they decided dopamine probably had something to do with the disease. Scientists have decided a higher than normal level of dopamine could be an indicator of schizophrenia. Clearly, we know a lot about what causes schizophrenia. So what about treating it? As I mentioned before, drugs were developed in the early treatments of schizophrenia to block dopamine receptors. Thank you so much. Thank you, you're the best ever. Hi puppy. Oh. Unfortunately, these drugs do their job a little too well and starting, start giving people movement problems such as Parkinson's disease. Nowadays, doctors get to low doses of newer dopamine-blocking drugs. Despite these new medications with less severe side effects, non-compliance with these prescriptions continues to be a problem. As you can already tell, schizophrenia interferes with normal function. Schizophrenia impairs episodes memory in ways that won't allow you to re relieve past events in your life. <laughs>
Patients typically function better when they participate in regular therapy sessions to complement their medications. Schizophrenic people are often are not able to recognize familiar people in past places and are unable to link the separate aspects of events into a single unit. <laughs> Working people in information processing are also impaired. Psychotic symptoms such as auditory and visual hallucinations make normal social interactions difficult. The memory aspect of schizophrenia symptoms do not respond to treatment or contribute to poor prognosis and disability. Imagine how hard it would be to hold down a job if flowers and trees and desk lamps are always turning into dragons. But what does all of this have to do with anything? Well, it has a lot to do with our human physiology class. If you remember in the first unit, we learned about the nervous system and all the different ways in which the central nervous system affects the rest of the body's functioning. <laughs> On the smallest level, this happens when neurons signal each other to cause challenges in other body systems. Hypermentality? <laughs> <laughs> it's recording. Right. In the frontal lobe, many schizophrenic people show hypofrontility, decreased activity, and some show hyperfrontility, increased activity. All this being said, schizophrenia is a confusing psychological disorder, and even the experts don't even know about it to state the true cause or come up with a highly effective treatment. <laughs>